Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get started here, I just wanted to show you the new banner that I got. I ordered this one from Vista Prints. It came out to about 45 bucks Canadian, which is pretty good. It's four feet by two feet and you can pick any size you want, but they only have like rectangular square shapes. So I decided to just cut out a scalloped border at the bottom here. And I'll show you how it looks in just a second here. All right, so since one of the next markets that I'm signed up for is themed Soccer of Bloom, I decided to try crocheting some cherry blossoms. And here I'm using a four millimeter hook and the pink yarn is Lion Brand yarn from Michaels and the other ones are Craftsmart and the bright pink is Bernat, Bernat, Bernat yarn um, from Walmart. And that's just to make the little embroidered bit in the middle. For all of these bits, I'll play one section of it in regular speed and then the rest will be sped up, but I'm just starting with a magic circle and then for each petal, I'll be doing a chain three and then two triple crochets and then another chain three and slip stitch back into the circle. And I'll repeat that five times to get five petals. Um, it's my forget-me-not pattern on Etsy and Ribbler if you're interested in a written copy of it But it's basically just a series of chain threes and triple crochets. So they work out pretty quick. This is in regular speed um, But what really Makes this take forever is the assembly and the embroidery of the little dark pink in the middle. So just another angle here, but it's the same thing and this is in real time as well. Starting with a magic circle, going into a chain three, and then two triple crochets. That goes into another chain three, and then I just slip stitch that into the circle and that's my first petal. And then we just keep repeating that until we have a total of five petals, slip stitch into the magic ring and yarn off. Again, this pattern is on my Etsy, so if you want a written copy of it, the link will be in the description below. In total, I made five little pink flowers for each branch. You could always do more, but I think I wouldn't do less than three or the branch might look a little bit sparse.
I'm taking a darning needle. I think I actually am just using a really large sewing needle here, but I'm taking some of the darker pink yarn and I'm going through the magic circle and I'm just running it through in between the two triple crochets of each petal and then back through to the magic circle. I'm taking my wire and I'm folding just the ends of it in half and I'm going to use that to loop through the flower for each flower. Here you can see I'm kind of bending that wire back in on itself so it's almost like tying a little bit of a knot onto the flower and it won't be too sturdy but I'll use hot glue to secure that in and also kind of drag all the little ends from the embroidery into the center of the flower. I'll use a little bit of green to cover about an inch of the stem from the flower and the rest will be brown because it'll be the branch. I won't put this part in real time because it took literally forever but basically what I'm doing is I'm twisting the wires together and kind of just placing them in a way to make it look like a branch. 
Um, some of the flowers are further off from the main branch and some of them are right close to it. It's up to you how you want to do it and it's nice to have a little bit of variation with each one. Um, I suggest kind of just holding it in the format that you want it to be before you start wiring everything together. But then I used brown yarn to cover up all the exposed wire and that's pretty much it. Okay, this is the final result. I have them all here. This is three separate branches. I didn't film putting them all together because I was freaking dying. But wow, so cute, right? I think like two is enough. I could probably sell two together. Or, oh, I should make these. Like, this is this one. I kind of like bent the like bottom stem a little bit. I think it looks more realistic than this like super straight one. If I bend them a little bit. Wow, I think two is good. If I put them, I brought a vase over here. But, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll put a picture. Oh my gosh, my glue gun was stolen. This is not a good vase for this. It should be like a thin vase, or like a thin hole at the top vase, if you know what I mean. But, they're too skinny. But that's cute there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's cute. Um, I think they'll probably sell them one branch, branch by branch. But this is my forget-me-not pattern. So I brought this over. This is like what I usually make. They're forget-me-nots. Um, really, you can probably see in the video, it's just chain threes and triple crochets in a magic circle. But what you would do different is instead of this little circle thing, the yellow circle in the middle, you would embroider the five little lines in the middle. And I think this would be cute with white flowers with pink lines as well. So I might try that next. But man, the assembly for this is really like, it's time consuming. It doesn't look like much, but crocheting it is actually pretty fast. It's the assembly that takes forever. I got some glue gun bits on here. But yeah, if you want to make it, um, if you want the written instructions, it won't have the exact assembly instructions, you'll just have to watch this video because I just put it together how you want it, really. Um, but actually crocheting the flower and some assembly instructions for this one are available on my Etsy and my Ribbler under um, Forget Me Not tutorial. Tutorial? Pattern. Forget Me Not Pattern. This isn't really a tutorial, it's just kind of showing you my process. But I gotta pull off some of the little glue gun bits here. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some video of them in the cute little vase. They kind of look like, I feel like if I made enough or if I wrapped a thicker stem at the bottom, I could make it look like a tree. But like, I don't know if I'm gonna make that many of these because they took so long. They took so long. I don't know how long it actually took. This one usually takes me about 30 minutes to make. But I think the assembly for this is like twice as long as this. I also, for these ones, I use an 18 gauge wire in the middle um, for the stem, and then these little ones are 20 gauge. For this one, since all the wires are together into the bottom, like for these ones, each flower is a small thin. You can kind of see it ends about here because the, the stem is like kind of thick and then it gets skinnier. Um, but for these ones, I used 20 gauge along the whole thing. So I used a thinner gauge, otherwise this stem would have been really thick. Um, but I think it wouldn't look bad if the stem was a little bit thicker. It still like holds its shape and is pretty like, it's a little bit like wobbly, but it still holds its shape, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I'm very happy with it.